बिसमीम् अलकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई मिस सादी इकबाल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गैरजन अकेडमी सीनियर कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल टू एप्स एक्स ऑनलाइन सपोर्ट प्रोग्राम एज यू ऑल नो दैट दिस इज़ आर टेंथ वीक डे वन मंडे सो लेट इस गेट स्टार्ट विद टूडेज़ लेक्चर टूडे इन शी विल भी कम्प्लीटिंग आर एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट सेवन विच इज़ लेफ्ट एंड देन वी विल भी डूइंग वी विल भी स्टार्टिंग इन शाला एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट एट एज वेल टू पॉइंट सेवन इफ यू रिमेंबर वी लर्न अबाउट finding higher derivatives of given functions what are higher derivatives if you know if you remember y1 being first derivative which is a simple derivative first derivative right so higher would be y2 y3 y4 and so on y2 being second derivative y3 being third derivative y4 being fourth derivative and so on so we will be just doing we will be just finding up till fourth derivative that's it okay so firstly we will be completing 2.7 exercise in which if you remember we were done up till three questions 4 to 9 are left of exercise 2.7 question number 5 up till question number 9 are very important for long point of view and question number 4 third part as well so i will be just discussing just third part of question number 4 rest would be done by you people and then we will be discussing inshallah question number 5 up till question number 9 which are which are very 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 important for long and then inshallah we will be doing exercise 2.8 in which we will be discussing mclaren series expansion and we will be doing just question number 1 two parts right so let us get started you can see exercise 2.7 we i will be doing this part these questions were done previously i'll be doing just this part and you will be doing these two parts this is very very important long mein aa bhi chuka hai paper mein you have to find y4 y4 matlab kya y4 ka matlab hai fourth derivative fourth derivative of what of this function of these all three but i will be discussing this one natural log of x square minus 9 so let us get started okay you can see here y equals to natural log of x square minus 9 so i have to find y1 y2 y3 and y4 right but before that let me simplify the function a little okay x square minus 9 can i write it as x minus 3 into x plus 3 right now this is natural log can i apply the property third property you multiply ho rahe ho so you can add them up like this right sorry this is one of them is plus so one of them is minus right okay now this is minus okay now can i write it as y could be written as natural log of this thing right now i have to find the derivative so it would be y1 means differentiating with respect to x on both sides right let us differentiate this and this with respect to x so to bahut aasan hai what would this be natural log of x ka derivative kya hota hai it is 1 divided by x into further derivative of this x which is 1 over here yahan pe dekhte hain natural log of this thing means 1 divided by x plus 3 into further derivative of x plus 3 which is 1 plus 0 3 ka derivative is 0 so we will not be writing that clear plus let us check out the de derivative of this so it will be 1 divided by x minus 3 into further derivative of x minus 3 which would again be 1 so overall what are my derivatives y1 is equal to x plus 3 whole raised to the power minus 1 plus x minus 3 whole raised to the power minus 1 ab maine isko aise kyun likha you know because now the derivatives would be easy for me otherwise i would have to apply you know the quotient rule and all so now this would be easier now differentiating again with respect to x so it would become y2 equals to kaise find karenge iske derivative by using power rule so it would be minus 1 into x plus 3 whole raised to the power minus 1 minus 1 into further derivative of x plus 3 which is again 1 1 plus 0 ya 1 plus okay look at this one now it would be minus 1 into x plus 3 raised to the power minus 1 minus 1 which means minus 2 into further derivative of x plus oh god this is not plus 3 this is x minus 3 okay x minus 3 which would be 1 again so now what is my derivative y2 second derivative kya aaya mere paas minus x plus 3 raised to the power minus 2 minus x minus 3 raised to the power minus 2 clear okay let us take y3 or y3 definitely aapke y2 ka hoga y2 was this minus 1 raised to into x plus 3 raised to the power minus 2 minus 
x minus 3 into x raised to the power minus 2 okay y3 means differentiating again with respect to 3 uh, with respect to x so again it would be power rule so it would be minus 1 into power into x plus 3 raised to the power minus 2 minus 1 power may say minus minus 1 into minus 2 per se we will be subtracting power may say minus further derivative of this and this is 1 so up as a bracket may like be okay let us simplify this 2 in minus 2 into minus 1 would be 2 into x plus 3 raised to the power minus 3 and then this would again be plus 2 into x minus 3 raised to the power minus 3 this is y3 clear differentiating again with respect to x so it would be y4 up kaise power multiply hoki so it would become minus 6 into x plus 3 raised to the power minus 3 minus 1 that would be minus 4 into further derivative se multiply hoki that would be 1 plus ab isko bhi kare 2 into minus 3 into x minus 3 raised to the power minus 3 minus 1 that would become minus 4 so what is it y4 is minus 6 into x plus 3 raised to the power minus 4 minus 6 into x minus 3 raised to the power minus 4 overall you can write it as this is my y4 you can leave it like this or you can simplify it like this see this is your required answer of y4 that's it i took minus 6 common Okay, now here is the solution of this question. You can see, uh, if you cannot see, I can zoom it in for you. So that if you want to take screenshots, you can. But I think if you have, you would have heard me clearly, there would be no need of this. See, splitting up this function, then finding the derivatives like this. There would be no need of this, by the way. I have explained it very clearly. Let us move to the next questions. Okay, now look at this question, question number 5 up till question number 9, very very important, 5 especially very important, why? Because this is a bit different, you know, you can say, you cannot say, call it difficult, but this is a bit different, why? Because you can see all rest of the functions are functions of x directly, but in question number 5 you can see, this is a function, y is a function of theta, x is also a function of theta, let me zoom it in a bit for you people, not this one okay now this is question number five this one you can see this is a function of theta x and y is also a function of theta but we have to find you can see y2 is used to prove this thing you know okay y2 is used which is second derivative y1 is used which is first derivative so which means y2 means derivative of second derivative of y with respect to x like this so it means we have to find dy by dx firstly for y1 okay so and definitely you will be thinking we can do that by using chain rule but this question would become very difficult by do using chain rule so for that reason you will be using a simple way to do this part for the, to do this question okay here look at this Achha, i have given the question number five here in your solution with a different method okay but i will be explaining it with a far more easier method so you better take screenshots while i'll be explaining it to you okay okay see this is x equals to sine of theta and this is y equals to sine of m theta i do not need theta in my y okay so i have to ex replace this theta with x somehow how i can replace it by taking value of theta from this equation matlab x is sine of theta so can i take theta value of theta from this equation that would be theta being here sine would be moved to this place so it would be sine inverse of x so now can i say my theta is equal to sine inverse of x now i will be replacing this theta over here with this value so my y would become sine of m into sine inverse of x you can see now that this whole thing this whole value is my theta like you know angle angle of what of this sign 
ठीक है कन्फ्यूज नहीं होना ओके नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू प्रूव दिस थिंग टू प्रूव दिस इक्वेजन आई वॉन्ट टू हैव वाई टू आई वॉन्ट टू हैव वाई वन एंड वाई इज ऑल ऑफ कोर्स देयर सो वाई टू मीन्स सेकेंड डेरेवेटिव वाई वन मीन्स फर्स्ट डेरेवेटिव इट मीन्स टू फाइंड दिस थिंग यू नो टू प्रूव दिस थिंग आई हैव टू फाइंड टेक डेरेवेटिव ऑफ दिस इक्वेजन सो फर्स्टली आई विल बी डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग ऑन बोथ साइड्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो दिस वुड बिकम वाई वन ओवर दिस साइड डी वाई बाई डी एक्स मीन्स वाई वन एंड हाउ वुड आई बी गेटिंग डेरेवेटिव ऑफ दिस साइन का डेरेवेटिव इज कॉस इन टू वट एवर द एंगल इज सो द एंगल इज एम इन टू साइन इन वर्ड्स ऑफ एक्स दैट्स इट नो फर्दर डेरेवेटिव ऑफ एम साइन इन वर्ड्स ऑफ एक्स ठीक है ओके आई नीड स्पेस सो इट वुड बी वाई वन इज इक्वल टू कॉस एम साइन इन वर्ड्स ऑफ एक्स इन टू डेरेवेटिव ऑफ दिस थिंग सो दैट वुड बी एम बींग कॉन्स्टेंट एज इट इज आ जाएगा वट वुड बी डेरेवेटिव ऑफ साइन इन वर्ड्स ऑफ एक्स इसका डेरेवेटिव होता है वन डिवाइडेड बाई रेडिकल ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर आई होप यू ऑल रिमेंबर दिस ओके नाउ दिस इज बींग मल्टीप्लाइड सो कैन आई राइट इट एज कैन आई टेक दिस वैल्यू ओवर दिस साइड सो इट वुड बिकम वाई वन इन टू रेडिकल ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर इक्वल्स टू एम इन टू कॉज ऑफ m in sin inverse of x where this whole is my angle theek hai after this okay now i'm going to change the method a little from the method which i have given to you in the images that is a little difficult i would say this one is far more easier look at this how am i going to do this i will be taking square on both sides dono sides pe squaring karne lagi hu so this would become y1 square into 1 minus x square right and on this side on right hand side i will be getting m square into cos square m sin inverse of x i hope yahan tak clear hai screenshot le le okay now y1 square into 1 minus x square this would become m square into cos square of m sin inverse of x yahi tha na can i write this thing This is cos inverse, cos square of theta. You can say, but the angle. So can I write that as one minus sine square theta or the angle? Or theta, my ra, ye pura ka pura hai. So this would be as it is. So it would become m into sine inverse of x. Ab maine ye kyun kiya? Because you know, after putting here value of theta, my y became sine of m. What was my theta? Sine inverse of x so now you can see here this is equal to this so can i replace this value with y then this would become y1 square into 1 minus x square equals to m square into 1 minus y square because this is y so iska square it would become y square any problem i hope not screenshot le rahe okay now simply we will be taking derivative x square and this was m square into 1 minus y square this is m square by the way 1 minus y square okay firstly multiply this one this side so it would become m square minus m square into y square i am not multiplying this side because you know we want it that way so it would be y1 square into 1 minus x square now take डेरेवेटिव टेकिंग डेरेवेटिव ऑन बोथ साइड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो दिस थिंग वुड बिकम यहाँ पर आपका लगेगा प्रोडक्ट रूल फर्स्ट फंक्शन एज इट इज इन टू डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर वन का डेरेवेटिव जीरो माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर एज इट इज नाउ डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वाई वन स्क्वेयर यहाँ पर मैं क्लियर करती हूँ वाई वन स्क्वेयर पहले तो पावर रूल टू पहले वाई वन टू माइनस वन विच मीन्स वन इन टू वाई वन का डेरेवेटिव फर्दर वट वुड दैट बी y2 so what is the derivative now 2y y1 sorry 2y1 y2 equals to what would be derivative of this thing m square being constant derivative would be 0 minus m square as it is or y square ka derivative kaise lenge again power rule 2 pehle y as it is main is y square ka derivative discuss kar rahi hu yahan pe 2 pehle power y raised to the power 2 minus 1 into y ka further derivative would be y1 so what is my derivative of y square 2y 
y1 so i'm going to write it over here 2y y1 now you can see one thing common all over in whole equation you can see 2y1 is common iske paas bhi 2y1 hai iske paas bhi 2y1 hai and iske paas bhi you can see 2y1 square hai in fact so ek y1 bach jayega so can i divide the whole equation by 2y1 so i would be having minus 2y1 only and here i will be having plus y2 into 1 minus x square equals to minus m square into y now you can see the thing which i needed is exactly the same but there is a little difference okay this 2 would not be here because 2 to hum cancellation kar diye 2 nahi hoga ye sirf y1 reh jayega and this x would be remaining so it would be x y1 let me re rewrite it this would be minus x y1 plus 1 minus x square into y2 equals to m square y sirf ye bach jayega so rearrange kar le 1 minus x square into y2 minus x y1 plus m square y equals to 0 and this is what i needed to prove this can you see theek hai ji hence proved likh le and this is done so this was the easiest method second method jo yahan pe diya hua hai let me zoom it in for you people yahan pe aap isi tarah se karenge yahan tak aapka same hai yahan tak but yahan pe all you have to do is take the derivative again theek hai easy hai but thoda sa complicated uski nisbat ho jayega you already zoomed in here that's it it is proved theek hai okay next question <coughs> this question is very simple and after this i think i will be coming up in the next video okay this question is a little uh, little not little in fact very very simple i will be just guiding you people about this the derivatives and all look at this question this is y equals to e raised to the power ax sorry y equals to e raised to the power x into sin of x this is your question and this is what you have to prove what does it mean how would we read it it means second derivative of y y2 minus 2y1 plus 2y equals to 0 ye hame prove karna hai this is d2y over dx square ka matlab hota hai second derivative minus 2 into y1 plus all you have to do is find the value of second derivative find the value of first derivative zahir hai pehle first derivative aayega then second derivative aayega and then y which is given to us we will be finding the values and we will be putting the values in this equation and the answer should be equal to 0 that's it that's all you have to do so i am going to show you how to find the derivatives rest would be up to you people y is equal to e raised to the power x into sin of x this is the function first function second function by parts hum karenge कैसे होगा फर्स्ट फंक्शन एज इट इज इनटू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ सेकंड फंक्शन क्या होता है कॉज ऑफ साइन ऑफ एक्स का डेरिवेटिव इट इज कॉज ऑफ एक्स फर्दर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द एंगल एंगल यहाँ पे एक्स है सो फर्दर डेरिवेटिव वुड बी वन वो हम ना भी लिखें प्लस सेकंड डेरिवेटिव सेकंड फंक्शन एज इट इज इन डेरीवेटिव ऑफ ई रेस टू द पार एक्स इफ यू रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू ई रेस टू द पार एक्स का डेरीवेटिव ई रेस टू द पार एक्स ही होता है इन फर्दर डेरीवेटिव ऑफ द एक्सपोनेंट विच इज एक्स सो इट वुड बी वन सो नाउ माई वट इज माई वाई it is e raised to the power x cos of x plus e raised to the power x sin of x can i write it as e raised to the power x into cos of x plus sin of x your y1 is done your y is already given to you e raised to the power x into sin of x ye aapko already given hai y1 bhi aa gaya hamare paas ab hum y2 find out karenge and we will be putting that into the left hand side theek hai ji y1 was e raised to the power x into cos of x plus sin of x ab main second derivative bhi batati hu differentiating again with respect to x so it would be first derivative first function it would be second first function as it is into derivative of this the second function what would be the derivative of cos of x it would be minus sin of x plus sin ka derivative kya hota hai cos x plus now the second function would remain as it is which was cos of x plus sin of x and derivative of e raised to the power x hum lenge which is e raised to the power x again take out e raised to the power x common what do we have now cos x plus cos x sorry cos x plus sin x ye wali maine values pehle likhi hain then minus sin x plus ye wala cos x 
So now you can see sin x and sin x cancelled out. So we got e raised to the power x cos x two times and this is my y2. So put the this value, put value of y1 in this left hand side and uh, put value of y. Simplify it, the answer would be 0. That's how you are going to prove it. I have given the solution here. You can see, see, we got second derivative like this, if you remember. Now put the values in the left hand side and you will get the answer. All the values will be cancelled out and we will be getting answer as 0. Very simple. Okay, ji. Uh, I will be meeting inshallah in the next video. Take care.